Introducing the Invitrogen Neon Next Electroporation System, an innovative platform that streamlines the procedure for transfecting your cells. So how does transfection work with the Neon Next Electroporation System? The first step is selecting the resuspension buffer that is appropriate for the voltage protocol you will be using. The buffer kit comprises of the Neon Next resuspension R buffer, the Neon Next resuspension T buffer, and the Neon Next resuspension genome editing buffer. The Neon Next R buffer is recommended for use with protocols less than 1,900 volts. Neon Next T buffer is for protocols using voltage greater than 1,900 volts. And Neon Next GE buffer is for knock-in applications. The Neon Next GE buffer promotes homology-directed repair and can work with most types of cells. The next step is to add the selected Neon Next resuspension buffer to your cell suspension in order to achieve desired cell concentration. This is followed by adding your delivery payload into the resuspended cell mix. The next step is to add the appropriate Neon Next electrolytic buffer. The Neon Next electrolytic E10 buffer is for 10 microliter reactions, while the E100 buffer is for 100 microliter reactions. Add 2 milliliters of the electrolytic buffer to the buffer tube, and then dock the tube in the pipette station. The Neon Next electrolytic buffers help the system carry a charge so that the electroporation can occur. Now attach the appropriate size Neon Next pipette tip to the Neon Next pipette. Make sure the metal plunger retracts all the way. Next, resuspend the cells and slowly load the mixture of harvested cells and payload into the Neon Next pipette tip. Be sure to avoid bubbles as these can interfere with electroporation. Place the pipette tip into the buffer tube in the docking station. There should be an audible click that lets you know your pipette is securely in the hub. Also, there will be a solid blue circle on the screen to let you know that you're now ready to transfect your cells. Select your protocol and press electroporate. Electroporation once completed is indicated by a green check mark. Press done. With these simple steps, your transfection is now complete. Now you can undock the pipette from the docking station and dispense your transfected cells into the prepared tissue culture vessel. Eject the used tip by pressing and releasing the blue ejector, followed by pushing the plunger all the way down. Transfer the plate to the incubator, and you're now ready to transfect your next sample. For more information, visit thermofisher.com slash neonnext.